uh, welcome to the next video so in this video we will be solving another ktu previous year problem uh, this particular question uh, is from s3 mos it was asked for 10 marks in 2018 december this is from module 4 in module 4 this is particularly from the bending stress portion okay so a cast iron beam of triangular cross section of 100 mm width 100 mm depth is placed with its base horizontal okay mm. and the beam is simply supported over a span of 6 meters if the allowable stress in tension and compression are 50 and 150 ampere respectively uh, find the safe concentrated load that uh, concentrated load the center of the beam uh, what are the extreme fiber stresses okay so so this is a very very direct problem uh, the, the only issue with the problem is it's a triangular session and most of the students uh, will not um, even ignore the uh, triangular portion when they are studying the properties so if you know that properties then it is uh, it's very simple so this is uh, six meter beam six meter beam and concentrated load at the center of the beam so there is a concentrated load i don't know maybe some p p kilonewton at the center okay so three meters uh, now uh, simply supported beam uh, this means uh, the support reactions here we will know uh, uh, because of symmetry we can say this is p by 2 this is p by 2 okay and bending moment diagram for this load case uh, this also it is expected to know this otherwise also you can uh, find the bending moment diagram so this will be the bending moment diagram it will be p by 2 into 3 so it is p by 6 kilo newton meter okay uh, sorry uh, p by 6 so it is p by 2 into 3 so uh, 3p by 2 uh, you can also remember that uh, simply supported uh, point load uh, the maximum bending moment is uh, w l by 4 so that is w into 6 by 4 or 3w upon so this is w uh, here uh, instead of w we are using p that's all okay so this is p uh, 3p by 2 this is the maximum bending moment now why maximum bending moment is important because in this beam uh, all the cross sections are same uh, the maximum bending stress will occur where the bending moment is maximum so that is why uh, maximum bending moment is important for us now what is the side dimension of the beam the beam is a uh, rectangular beam sorry a, a triangular beam so this is the beam the base is 100 height is also given as 100. 100. now uh, the moment you see, see this uh, you should be able to know the centroid of the rectangle so this rect cent center of the rectangle will be uh, this distance will be 100 by 3 okay and moment of inertia about centroid will be uh, bh uh, bh square upon 36 bh cube upon 36 bh cube upon 36 is the uh, moment of inertia about the centroid of the uh, triangle so this formula you should remember uh, if student you don't know this formula then you cannot solve this okay uh, so this much is uh, done so uh, they're telling uh, base is horizontal so base is horizontal means uh, if i cut a cross section here a a a a will look like this it is not the other way not the inverted way okay now uh, you can solve this by a simple bending equation uh, bending equation is m upon i equal to uh, sigma upon y equal to p upon r so the mnemonics that we use here is uh, may i see you elizabeth rani okay so this is uh, what we use and only the first portion we have to use for this now what is given here uh, it is given that the restriction given here is uh, the maximum strength uh, tense uh, stress in tensile is 15 mpa 15 mpa and maximum compressive stress is uh, 150 mpa okay so this is the condition you have to just uh, match this condition you have to see uh, at what force this stress will be reached any of these stresses will be reached okay so what i'll do uh, we will we will draw the stress uh, distribution how the stress distribution will be if you are able to draw, draw that uh, then uh, it means that you have you have understood the concepts very clearly okay now uh, so let's say this is my center line 
this is my edge line, this is the other edge line. So this is a dotted line, okay. Now I will draw my vertical line here. Now since it is simply supported, uh, the beam will bend like this, it will be bending like this or we call that as sagging. So in sagging, the top portion will be in compression, the bottom portion will be in tension, okay. So the, the top portion is going to be in compression. So it is linearly changing compression, compression. So the top portion will be under compression like this and the bottom portion will be in tension like this, okay. So this is the neutral axis. Now uh, in the bending equation, the y is nothing but uh, the distance of any point that we want from the neutral axis. For example, if you want to find uh, stress at this point, the location of that point from the neutral axis is y, okay. So substitute in that equation, uh, m is there, m is at the section, whatever uh, m is there. So different different location, different m we will get. What we will get, consider is we get, consider the maximum bending moment. So maximum, this section is what we are going to consider, okay. So at this section, the moment is 3p by 2. Uh, I is, uh, we know this, it is bh cube by 36. Uh, and y, when you substitute the value of y, so if it is, let's say, 5 mm, y is 5 mm. So 5 mm, you substitute it, you will get the stress at 5 mm, okay. Now, what they are telling is maximum compression and tension uh, is what they are telling. So maximum compression occurs at the top and maximum tension occurs at the bottom. So these two points is what uh, is our uh, interest. So that means for maximum tension, I uh, will call the depth as yt. yt is nothing but 10 by 100 by 3 mm, okay. And maximum compression is at this location from y. I will call this as yc. yc, this yc will be uh, 2 into 100 by 3. Okay, it is, this is one third, this is two third. Okay, so this is one two third distance, this is one third distance. So this also, I'll just mark the distance here. So that there is no confusion. Okay, this is yt, this is yc. Now we just uh, use the formula. Uh, we know that m by i equal to sigma by y. So for, uh, for compression, compression or maximum compression, so we will get, uh, sigma c and y c <laughs> okay so that means m equal to sigma c upon y c into i so just substitute the values here you get the answer uh, so that means what is the value of sigma c 150 what is the value of y c y c is uh, 2 into 100 by 3 so 2 into 100 by 3 okay uh, into i i is b h cube upon 36 b h cube upon 36 b is base uh, h is height, height is also 100 upon 36. So if you just calculate this, you will get the uh, answer. You just calculate this very fast. So 150 times 3 times 100, 100 raised to 4 divided by 2 into 100 into 36. So this is the uh, moment in kilo newton meter so sorry newton uh, newton millimeter so 6250000 6250000 newton millimeter so this is one mistake that students will make this is in newton millimeter uh, it is always convenient to make it in kilo newton meter so divide by 10 raised to 6 so 6250000 divided by 10 to the power 6 kilo newton meter so this is nothing but 6.25 kilo newton meter so the meaning is meaning is the moment the uh, uh, the, the load at which the moment here becomes 6.25 kilo newton meter the stress in the extreme compression fiber that means this location will become what is now the value of 150 mpa okay 150 mpa so that is what uh, the meaning of that now we will we will check, check the case of maximum tension So maximum tension uh, yt equal to 10 by 3. Now there is a sign convention plus minus. We will ignore all those things because tension we are supposed to take minus. So uh, you can uh, take on sign convention also. So if you want to take on sign convention downward uh, directions distances, you can take as negative. You can uh, give negative here. So when you substitute sigma t, sigma t, um, sorry, upward you can consider as a negative and downward you can consider as positive. So don't go with sign conventions. Uh, it is not necessary. Okay. So this means uh, here it is m by i equal to 
sigma t upon y t. So, y t is nothing but uh, this distance from the neutral axis the uh, location to the maximum tensile uh, location. So, that means movement equal to sigma upon y t sigma t upon y t into i. So, that gives me the value uh, sigma t is here uh, it is given as 50 MPa if I am correct yes 50 MPa uh, 50 upon uh, 100 by 3 into i i is nothing but uh, as usual it is b h cube upon 36. So, b is 100 h is uh, 100 q upon 36. So, this gives me uh, let us check what is what is the value that we will get here. So, quickly if I calculate this it is 50 times 3 times 100 raised to 4 divided by 100 into 36. So, this is 41666666 okay. 4, 1. So, 5, 6, so this is this Newton millimeter. So, this is uh, same as I, I can divide by 10 raise to 6, uh, 4, 1, 6, 6, 6, 6, 7 divided by 10 to the power kilo Newton meter. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that is nothing but 4.16 kilo Newton meter. So, if you observe here, uh, since the, the moment uh, or at the force at which uh, or the point load at which uh, the moment becomes 6.25 kN, when it becomes 6.25 kN, we observe that um, the maximum compressive stress is re uh, reached. But only 4.16 kN meter is required to reach the maximum tensile st stress. So, that means the moment the, uh, the moment uh, or at the force at which the moment becomes 4.16 kN meter, uh, the beam will fail due to tension because the maximum tensile strength has been reached okay so that means it will not reach this value it will reach only this value so this is the limiting value this is the value which we have to consider so here uh, in the moment uh, the maximum or moment that the beam can take is 4.16 kilo newton meter this is also known as capacity or strength of the beam strength of the beam this is the moment capacity of the beam or strength of the beam now uh, our moment uh, is 3w by 2 or 3p by 2 uh, we will use 3p uh, so 3p by 2 3p by 2 equal to 4.16 so p equal to 2 times 4.16 upon 3 so this is this gives me uh, the value so 2 times 4.16 divided by 3 so, it is nothing but uh, 2.77, 2.77 kilo newton. So, this is the force at which the beam is going to fail. This is the maximum force it can take at the center, okay. Now, there is one more small problem, a small question they ask, what is the, uh, what is the extreme fiber stresses, okay. So, that means at that load, when the load is for uh, 2.77 kilo newton, the maximum moment in the beam is 4.16 kilo newton meter. At this moment, what is the maximum extreme stresses? That is uh, stresses in the fiber. Okay. So, we know that the maximum tensile fiber uh, stress is uh, uh, the value is nothing but uh, 50 MPa that is reached. But what is the value of compressive stress? So, this we have to calculate. Okay. Compressive stress reaches 150 MPa only when the moment is 6.25. So, what is the compressive stress the, when the moment is uh, 4.16 kN meter? So, that is a question. So, uh, so we will just calculate that also. Uh, so, compressive stress when moment equal to 4.16 kN meter. Okay. So, we will use again m by i equal to sigma by y. So, maximum compressive is yc we have to use. Uh, now, uh, at yc, what is the value of yc? It is 2 by 3 into 100. So, that means sigma equal to uh, m by into m by i into yc. Okay, so, moment is given 4.16 into 10 to the power 6 because Newton millimeter is what we need. Uh, yc is uh, 2 by 3 into 100 uh, divided by i, i is bh cube um, 100 raised to 4 upon 36. Upon 36. Okay. So, this gives me the value of maximum compressive stress when the moment is 4.16 kilonewton meter. So, quickly if I calculate 4.16 into 100 divided by 36, 
into 10 raised to 6 uh, into 2 into 1000 into 36 uh, divided by 3 into 100 raised to 4. So, this gives me 998.4. Uh, so, there is some mistake here. Hundred, which is ninety nine point eight four, ninety nine point eight four MPa. So you can observe here, uh, since the moment is lesser than uh, six point two five, the stress is also lesser than one fifty MPa. So we are getting ninety nine point eight five. So as a completion, uh, at when moment is uh, uh, when we have moment as four point one six kilonewton meter the stress variation looks like this so this is a nodal axis this is a base top Now the compression top is compression. Bottom is tension. Now what we know is maximum tensile stress is fifty MPa. MPa and maximum compressive stress is 99.84 MPa. Okay, moment is 4.16 km. So this is the extreme fiber stresses uh, that was asked the, as the last part. So I hope this is clear. Um, this is a direct question. Uh, the main problem with this problem is it's a triangular section, and most of the students will uh, forget what is the moment of inertia for the triangular section. It is BH cube by 36. It's a very simple formula. Please try to remember this formula. Uh, so that's it. Uh, we will uh, again solve another problem in the next video.